Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today I decided to do a video regarding the legendary hero Garwood because uh, before season 1 or season 1 plus Garwood not, was not so popular because we generally did not know how to use him in a good way. Uh, actually in season 2 Garwood is one of the most usable heroes in the game uh, what it's called meta hero and I decided to do a guide about Garwood because uh, yeah I can see I did not unlock the skills of the Garwood but you can see I have it a lot and um, I know how to play with Garwood in general uh, so first of all we need to understand how to get Garwood in general uh, of course it's a great when the hero we are talking about is in the gold chest which means there is like 0.9% chance you can get Garwood from the gold chest and actually from the VIP shop. Uh, whenever you're gonna unlock the Garwood in general, you can choose it from here. Uh, where is Garwood? Here, Garwood, and you will get one token per day. That's like only two ways of getting this legendary hero in general. Now let's dig, dig deep inside the Garwood mechanics in order for us to find out why this hero is so good and why it is such a good meta hero like even T5, T4 legions are using Garwood as a primary hero. In order for us to find out why he is so good, we need to know what his skills are doing, right? Uh, in general, um, everything about Garwood is damage reduction and healing. So everything what's healing you in the game will have a synergy with Garwood. Like first and main skill of the Garwood is like healing factor 1200, which is a lot. And damage reduction 20%. 20% uh, is a lot, uh, like all damage taken, which means it's magic damage, like physical damage, any kind of damage. Uh, this is a passive skill, um, like this is the only minus in order, like in general, if we are talking about on-field Garwood, which this skill is not working on the battlefield, it's this skill is only working uh, during Garrison, and the Garrison in Garwood will get a HP bonus of 10%. Uh, regarding like third skill, again, healing received bonus, already like you can see the synergy here, uh, healing received bonus and defense bonus while you have a damage taken reduction here. Like you already can understand what kind of synergy these skills has. And also like there is like 75% chance to increase physical, physical damage dealt by 10% for uh, 5 seconds when healed. So like you are healing from this, you are, uh, you are uh, getting buffed heals with this and by healing yourself you are getting more damage. And regarding like awakening skill, like here again is like 1,200 uh, heals. So you can understand it's all about uh, damage taken reduction, healing, and the last skill is about like whenever you're gonna get healed, you will get a more damage. Like regarding like uh, for us to find out why Garwood is so popular and why so many people are using Garwood, uh, we need to know. Uh, like on with which heroes this hero has a synergy with and why they are so good like um, in the past like best meta legendary heroes are like one legendary hero and second legendary hero too but in my opinion the best way of playing with garwood is in synergy with eliana and that's the main way why the garwood is meta because uh, in season 2, uh, almost everybody who have been playing this game for 2 seasons has awakened Eliana, like in the max, and you can see uh, like synergies with Eliana. Like awakened skill is giving healing factor, like additional healing for the Garwood and Garwood synergy. Also, uh, like Eliana has a shield, uh, like this is a peacekeeping, does not really matter for us. And here damage reduction, which Garwood also has, and defense bonus. So like you can understand, like here are a lot of healing, a lot of uh, damage uh, reduction, and a lot of defense bonus on a both heroes uh, kit. That's why I think Garwood became meta because when people got awakened, Eliana, and they understood that uh, Garwood only needs heals and damage reduction and 
um, only hero in this game besides Garwood, who has healing and damage reduction, is Eliana. Uh, well, if you if you want to talk regarding other infantry heroes, which can be great with Garwood, um, I think like Nika can be fine. Uh, like Madeline can be fine, j just simply because the maximum legion capacity, uh, which means like more legion, more healing. Right, like it's uh, like, but uh, if you are running with Garwood, you are going with Garwood and Eliana. And if you are rocking with Madeline, Madeline is Nika is different pair, different kind. Like um, we already know that we will get two more legendary infantry heroes, and maybe they will have some kind of synergy with Garwood. Like regarding talent trees. In my opinion, there is like an obvious choice, right? Um, like going for the infantry tree and uh, like doing half on a tank tree. Uh, of course, we can check it from here. Uh, it should be saved, right? Give me a second here. Uh, yep, yeah, here uh, it's easy to uh, understand, right? Here, infantry tree, um, like. Uh, it's like simple because uh, of course you can use uh, Garwood as a garrison uh, hero, but uh, garrison. Uh, but this guide is about battlefield, um, about on-field battles. Uh, so infantry tree and uh, half on the tank tree will be amazing for Garwood. Infantry tree will give the infantry units additional defense, additional attack, additional health. Uh, also, like here, you're gonna get a healing, uh, which is a great for um, Garwood and Eliana pair. And of course, being a tank um, means a more defense, being a tank uh, means more HP. So this is like a main talent tree uh, for the Garwood, in my opinion. Uh, like for the uh, artifacts, and there are like a couple of uh, artifacts which we can uh, give to the Garwood, uh, but we can check the artifacts from the artifact draw compendium. Like this is the artifacts we can actually get as a free to play players, and like any general uh, infantry artifacts will be great. But uh, the new synergy about Garwood is that it has a healing, so anything with healing will be uh, like great, right? But like even Dragon Rift is amazing for infantry uh, unit attack, legend attack, like because uh, like any legendary artifact you're gonna get as a free to play player is like there is not much chance. Like I only have like one legendary infantry artifact, um, two um, Spring of Silence two, but I have been playing for like more than six months. So uh, anything which gonna get. Um, at least uh, infantry legendary artifact will be great on a, any infantry legendary hero, right? Like regarding epic ones, um, sure, like there is one Butcher's Blade uh, and any other infantry artifact, like any other infantry artifact is giving you Legion attack. Uh, anything which gonna give you Legion defense can work. Uh, so like uh, even... Uh, uh, even like something only about healing will be cool on the uh, like Fang of Ashkar can be amazing because it's simply of defense and defense and the damage factor of the skill. So like uh, all around in tank, right? So it's like uh, uh, if you will get Fang of Ashkari, you can it, use it on a Garwood and you will be happy. If you will have any other infantry legendary artifacts, such as like Spring of Silence, such as Dragon Rift, you will be happy. That's what I was trying to say, right? Uh, and regarding like War Pets, I have already done every single Warped single out guides. I wouldn't gonna speak deep, deep inside the right regarding Warpets, but simple and most obvious choice is uh, like a Stripe Bearer, simply because of friendship uh, skill, which gonna give you 100 healing factor uh, for like simply just having this Warped, right? Like you are getting more heals and more heals uh, with Garwood is synergy, more heals with Eliana is synergy. And I, I think in my opinion, this uh, friendship uh, passive skill is amazing for Garwood. And that's, I will, that's the Striper I will be using for Garwood for sure. Uh, so this is like generally what I wanted to say regarding like meta legendary hero Garwood. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, I'm traveling tomorrow. I have a flight. I will be 
off and on uh, I'm settling for like maybe a week I, mo I might not be able to take a video for a week but I will be back for sure thank, thank you guys for watching me um, bye bye